Welcome to Carside Reviews. I'm Adam. I'm Derek. He's been on before. If you've seen this, you know. We just watched. What was that? I'm counting them up. Oh, yeah, three, four, five, six, seven. <laughs> it probably looked like I was licking my fingers. That was actually more than I laughed in the Ghostbusters movie. We just we just got done seeing Ghostbusters 2016. Answer the call. Where Where do you begin on this? You know, do you want to go with? I mean, uh, we can I, do the cast first. Yeah, I mean, I guess I, I, what I was gonna just say, I guess, was going in. I had very low expectations, and they limboed right underneath the, yeah. that bar. Yeah, the the first, I'd say, 15, 20 minutes. I'm thinking, you know what? This isn't too shabby. Yeah, I mean, it was a little poppier. It wasn't as dark, and mm -hmm. I, but I still I was trying to get behind it. Maybe they have yeah. some good jokes. Maybe they'll get me laughing. But no, it just it just falls apart. And as the film progresses, it just gets dumber and dumber. Jokes. Uh, are terrible. Like the original film had sharp, snappy, witty comedy. None of that's here. It's it's, it's like, poop games. Well, yeah, I was gonna say like fart like, jokes yeah, and just things for like ten year olds. What did you think of the cast? Uh, well, I didn't mind Kristen Wiig or Melissa McCarthy. The the problem was the writing. The, the storyline was terrible. The jokes were not good at all. Yeah. Uh, I don't know who the blonde chick is. Kate McKinnon, I Kate think. Kate McKinnon. Um, I guess I haven't watched SNL in about 10 years. No, I guess her, she's in it. Her and Leslie Jones. Hopefully she's funnier in that than she is now. <laughs> she's probably the worst character in the show. Um, <laughs> I read reviews about her early before I saw the movie, and they said she runs away with the, the film. And, I, yeah, she does run away with the film into some other movie that I wasn't watching, into Looney Tunesville, because every scene she's in is cartoonish. Like, it wasn't even tied to any of the scenes. It was just random, like, yeah. vomit of not not even jokes, just sounds or quirky faces, etc. Yeah, there, there's a few serious moments, and even in those serious moments, she's sitting there giving, like, these just dumbass faces. Yeah, weird and, looks, like, yeah. cock eyes, etc. I, I don't understand. Like, she's just trying to make her mark, I guess, on the movie because this is her first big film. Sure, scene stealer. Leslie Jones, uh... Nothing Whatever, to write yeah. home about. She, in the trailer, seemed like the stereotypical black woman. Uh, she doesn't know nothing about no science, and oh, hell no. And there is plenty of that in here. Thankfully, it's um, it's not as pronounced as it was in the trailers. She just comes off uh, as kind of forgettable. You know, I don't know. Yeah, and Chris Hem Hemsworth, uh, Kind of forgettable as well. Just a couple of funny well, jokes, but he just he took it maybe one or two steps too far every scene he was in. Once again, it's it's the writing, like you said. I think Hemsworth was funny, but they made his dumb character dumb to the point of absurd. What did you think of the action and effects in this? Poor. I mean, I was kind of Scooby Doo. Scooby Doo. Live yeah, action. yeah. I mean, like the green glowing, the red glowing. Yeah. I don't know. I just. The whole time I kept thinking Fantastic Four, like sucked into a vortex. It just <laughs> towards the end. Um, I, I, I know, like I was also thinking a little bit Night Nightmare Before Christmas with that balloon show that rolled through, <laughs> but in a bad way, like yeah, not in a good claymation way. way. <laughs> yeah, the action. They had all these different guns and gadgets and things, and, and the gadgets were kind of cool, kinda fun, but they yeah. like show it once and then they destroy it or they just wouldn't use it in the right way. And how are they getting funding for all this stuff? Yeah, I, I understand it's a silly concept to begin with, but at least in the original they were poor and they made money by busting ghosts. And this one they bust, do they get one ghost? They caught one ghost well, and let him go. But they didn't yeah. get paid for it, as far as I know. No, they They're, actually got scolded for it. Yeah, right. So where's this income? Because we know none of them are working right now. They're all a bunch of deadbeat scientists. It's a small gripe, but all these little plot holes kind of add up to the bigger picture, which is the script is just poor, and it really... I just don't understand, and I ranted about this, I don't get why this movie exists other than other than to make money and push some female empowerment agenda, which, okay, Bridesmaids worked, it was an original script. Make more original movies and stop trying to piggyback off successful ones. I, I guess I'll grade it now then before we say anything further, but for me this, uh, one out of ten, one being the worst, ten being the best, uh, a three. I'm gonna give it a three out of ten. I would go a little higher if there wasn't an original Ghostbusters, but because this is reliant on the original so much, and it can't be its own film at all, it's a three. Um, when I was, I don't know, maybe five or six years old, I had a Ghostbusters shirt, and on the front of it, he was given the peace sign. Oh, yeah. Two. That's two. what I'm that giving it. Oh. I'm giving it a two. <laughs> that was one of the poorer movies I've seen in the theater in a long time. Um, 
yeah, I just, I could find very few qualities to enjoy about it. Uh, like you said, the intro kind of got me a little bit geared for it, a little geeked. Yeah. But as it progressed, it got worse and worse. The ending was terrible. The special effects were terrible. The writing was terrible. The jokes were terrible. Uh, I, I really find few qualities to get excited for in the movie. I mean, a couple times they had the Ghostbuster theme music kick in. I got a little, I don't know, nostalgic yeah, sure, jazzed up, sure. but that was because of, I don't know, roller skating around the skating place and watching the old Ghostbusters. Yeah, maybe, maybe, it wasn't because of this movie. I mean, you're making me second guess my three even now. You know, I gave Fan Four Stick a three <laughs> as well. So I was kind of basing it around that shit sure, show. Sure. But maybe even Fan Four Stick was given it too high of a grading. So, so. I'll stay with a three yeah. because I think I've seen movies that are far worse than this. This is a, a disaster and this Hollywood trend of reboots needs to stop. People say reboots have been around forever. Yeah, I know, but they don't come out every week like it seems like they do now. And uh, let, let's just end it. I don't want to see another stunt cast with Back to the Future or Gremlins or any of this shit. Leave it in the past, make something new. Do we have anything else to say about this? I don't think so. Yeah, I was just kind of speechless afterward. I was like, four of really, us. Yeah. yeah. And we even had a female with us. We did. And she, she just gap mouth was like, what What did I just watch? At first, I thought she liked it. Uh, yeah, she, she was, was laughing, laughing a lot. Yeah. But she laughs a lot at anything. Yes, though. she does. Yeah. I'm, I'm just upset now. I'm just upset. I'm going to go watch Ghostbusters 2 because Ghostbusters 2 is far better than this. Suicide Squad in a couple weeks. That, I don't know what else is coming out. But, Suicide uh, Squad looks good. I so mean, just I guess get your optimistic hat on. <laughs> it's been a tough couple weeks. Yeah, you know? it's been brutal with Independence Day. Independence and, Day was a huge kick to the dick. Mm -hmm. uh, Pets, what the Secret Life? Did you see that one? I did. Uh, that was disappointing. Mm -hmm. I was waiting right. for that for a you long time with my family. Like BFG was disappointing, and I love Spielberg and Disney movies typically, and I like the book. Well, there's a little bit of summer left for you. Just don't even know. I don't know. I'm gonna play some Pokemon Go. Let's let's get things happy again in this world.